In my career, I've conducted numerous trainings and dealer events, and I started remembering names of the people I meet as a simple business requisite. Hi, this is Dr. Ashwini, and in this video, I'll share the technique and some tips to master this unique skill. If you watch this video till the end, you'll find link to my tip sheets and other videos in my memory series. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe icon on the lower right side of the video or by clicking the red subscribe button below the video. If you have any comments, feel free to leave in the comment section and do share a like so that I can share more videos to your taste as time goes by. And for this content, let us start. The most important step in memorizing names is to focus when meeting a person. When we do not focus on a person's name, we do not acquire it for future reference. And if we have not acquired it, what are we trying to remember? You can improve the focus by remembering to focus when we are meeting a person. Repeating the person's name in our initiating conversation. Nice to meet you, Mr. Sanjay. Nice to meet you, Mr. Arya. How are you doing, Vassal? Ask for name again. It is, it, it, there is no shame if it is not clear. The second step is to file the information, the person's name, and you do it in two places. First, you can store this information on the person itself, somewhere on the person's unique face feature. So you may find something different about him on his nose or his hairstyle or his lips or in his cheekbones, and you try and store that name information on that unique feature that you have identified. And Typically, once you get into the swing of it, you can do it very, very fast. Second step is to file it with reference to the location. Okay, so where you have seen the person, you try and build a memory palace uh, location map and you actually are going to say that this person seated here is having this unique name. So you use a combination of these to be able to file the information of that person's name in your memory. But how do you how do you code this information for remember? Step three is simple. Code the information, the name, for visual recall. Visual part of the brain uses imagery. We normally use the left side of the brain, which is the logical side of the brain, but there is a substantial brain real estate in the right side of the brain. And this side of the brain is a visual side of the brain. By coding the name visually, you're triggering a powerful part of the brain to facilitate recall. So you can code this image visually by selecting appropriate visuals. Uh, name of the person is Suraj. You imagine if you have chosen his forehead as a prominent feature, you imagine a sun sitting on his forehead. Or you can have a bridging person. For example, actor Rajendra Kumar acted in a movie called Suraj and he had the role of the hero Suraj. So uh, you imagine Suraj fighting with this Suraj, uh, slapping him on the forehead. Or you do a suitable word split to uh, create a visual image. George Paul is the famous five of Annette Blyton. Uh, had a character George. So imagine George Paul uh, as George playing with the ball and tossing it to George Paul in my latest uh, meeting. Dhananjay is Arjun shooting an arrow on the prominent feature of the person concerned. If it is nose, an arrow piercing the nose. Or Sanjay can be my cousin Sanjay or any other Sanjay in my knowledge. So this actually also captures the step four. You bring action and feeling into that coded information. So now you have a place to file an information, you have a visual imagery, and you've added the ingredient of feeling. 
this can be motion this can be anger and emotion it can be a sense of taste or smell and you when you code all it all this uh, like this your chances to recall it improve dramatically for example imagine an arjun's arrow piercing the newly acquainted arjun's forehead gruesome memorable an old sanjay snapping the new sanjay on the chin okay or rudra balancing a rod on his nose or a face or forehead and singing in delight okay so you are actually coding this information and filing it with all this action and feeling so it becomes very intuitive and recallable actually with a little practice you will be able to build these associations swiftly naturally when you meet people the last step in the name recall process is systematic repetition systematic repetition is a key to long term recall you got the information you coded it you filed it properly and now you can recall it at that incidence but to get the name and face into your long term memory you need to have a systematic repetition in my conferences i would jot down the names in a private moment and it would be a way of fixing the recall one can also maintain a logbook with the names uh, at the end of the day you minute the records of a particular meeting those who maintain a daily journal will also find it a tremendous aid to boosting recall writing the name down is a wonderful way to bring focus and recall into practice it is also recommended that you swing the pendulum of memory for a few days to embed the name into your long term memory this can be a daily review for a week a monthly review for a quarter and then as need be a periodic refresh of your journal notes finally what happens if you cannot recall the name of the person do note that it is natural and human to err just ask the name again if possible from a mutual acquaintance or directly from the person concerned if need you can practice a name face recall game by looking at your linkedin network and doing a recall practice or use a site like memoryleak.com which even has uh, training levels and can be used by memory athletes to uh, raise their skill level to the next higher order in the final analysis remember name recall with a face is a simple execution of the following steps focus file at a fa face feature the appropriate visual image with feeling action touch smell taste motion emotion even aura and systematic repetition full supporting text for this memory skill is available at my blog link in the description below if you have liked this video do give a thumbs up and do subscribe to this channel by pressing the subscribe button the lower right side of this video or the red subscribe button below the video and select the bell icon for auto alerts on future videos my next memory series video will cover recalling books and i look forward to seeing you then